Welcome back to another episode here of the San Antonio Spurs franchise. Today, the first game's going to start off with us taking on the Lakers, and then we're going to kind of go into some more simulation, um, bringing us up to another game or so. Um, it's been a while since I uh, posted one of these. I have pretty much this whole second season saved and recorded. I just have not had time to go through and upload it, but I finally am going through this. I have the Tigers franchise as well, so hopefully we can get on here. As we jump into this game, it is the San Antonio Spurs who are off to a 5-3 start against the LeBron and AD led Lakers who are off to a 6-1 start. You'll see here um, the starting lineups. I'm pretty sure ours, uh, I believe it is Trey Jones, uh, Demi Vassell, Keldon Johnson, I don't know, Ben Simmons, and... Ooh, after that, I don't know. I could I could be completely wrong, to be honest. Um, you can see the power rankings there, though. I think the Lakers were top three there. Here are the starting fives. we got Ben Simmons, Devin Vassell, Jeremy Sohan, Johnson, and Zach Collins. Going up against Russell, Kendrick Nunn, LeBron James, Jaron Vanderbilt, and Anthony Davis. Jump ball here just in a second as Davis and Zach Collins meet at middle court here in San Antonio, which is not the 50th year anymore. Wish they would kind of update that every now and then, but the jump would be won by Collins. But we would start off here on the other end with the Lakers here as LeBron James fires it to Russell for the first three pointer of the day here, and they take an early three to nothing lead. Now, three to two, Simmons working his post magic. Why we brought him here is to give him another shot to revitalize his career, and he's looking to do that early here as he's been pretty good at getting assists. Zach Collins wide open for three. He fires it in. It's now 7-4 lead for San Antonio. But Los Angeles would come right back as Russell would bring it up to James. As James dribbles around. As I didn't realize how long it take. But eventually Russell, he would get open here to Kendrick Nunn who quickly fires. What a quick release. Um, but he splashes that out. It is now, well it was 7-7 seven seven, now 8-9 as Nunn gets another quick release three. He makes it 11 to 9 here. Very explosive score so far here early on. Simmons now drives in, or he drives over in there, and he'll get the double screen as he will find Devin Vassell camping in the corner here for a 3 to make it a 12 to 11. San Antonio gets the lead back. Now 13 to 11, Anthony Davis blow by on Simmons. A weird looking layup there to make it a 3 point game. And the, or the Spurs will call the first time out of the game. Off the timeout, Vassell hits the three to tie the game back up at 15 as he has eight early points here. He has half the team points, but then LeBron right back at him. Post fade over Jeremy Soham. Take the lead right back. It's still 17 to 15. Simmons will fire it to the corner to Keldon Johnson, who would hit a corner three there to give the Spurs a very back and forth game here early on. As Russell Westbrook, who's back on the Lakers. Um, I don't know exactly how he re-signed there, but he did. He'd get a cool little layup there, and then Ben Simmons would come right back at him, who, by the way, Ben Simmons already has five assists in this game. Russell would hit the midi as it's now 24-20 to Lakers, and here we jump into Russell Westbrook slamming it down here with the last minute. He'd rock the baby on us. <laughs> You're going to be seeing that a good little bit early on in this game. On the other end, Trey Jones would slowly bring it up, and we'd be looking for the rookie, Brandon Miller. He gets a couple of ISOs to start his career off. I think he's going against Tristan Thompson here. I can't really see. Definitely not, but a nice step back midi here um, over whoever that was. I cannot see, um, but you can see he's averaging 20.2 points per game this season. I mean, it's only eight games, but he's off to a pretty hot start to his career. Westbrook would come right back, hit the midi. I don't know if he rocks the baby this time. I sure hope he doesn't. But now we cut over Tristan Thompson. Fires it to Westbrook. Corner three. He hits it with .2 left on the sh game clock. And it is 31-23 to end the first quarter here. An eight-point lead for the Lakers. And then jump to the second quarter. Here's Brandon Miller driving in on... I don't know who number 15 is. I cannot remember for the life of me. But Brandon Miller showing off the strength here. As he's looking to become the new star here of our franchise. Westbrook bullies his way inside to get a point. He has 11 to start off. Brandon Miller step back three. Got it. He now has seven to the quick start of his game. You can see last loss against the Lakers. He scored 28 on 11 for 15 shooting. 
We then go on the other end. It's Kendrick Nunn finding Vanderbilt, who would go down to Westbrook, who just goes right around Trey Jones, hits the layup, and rocks the baby. He has 13 early points here. It is now 35-28 to 28 as Brandon Miller does his little step back, drives inside this time. Over, I think that one was Kendrick Nunn. I don't know. I think, yeah, that was Kendrick Nunn. Gets a nice little two. Keeps it an eight-point game. Devin Vassell off the double screen. He hits a midi here. He's our leading scorer right now with 10, I believe. It could be Brandon Miller at this point. I don't remember. Um, bad pass here from Beverly. It's stolen by Russell. And this would make it a 40-32 to 32 game as Davis gets inside with an easy layup wide open. Here with about six minutes to go. 40-35 to 35 now. Simmons drives in. Can't get the layup to go over Anthony Davis. And Davis looks to run the floor on the other end. He drives in, hands it to Russell after he couldn't get in. But James is in the paint. He kicks it out to Davis as he has to be double teamed. And Davis splashes out the three. So it's now 43-35. to 35. Same score later on. It's LeBron James. Drives inside on Keldon Johnson. Gets that layup. That's easy for LeBron. It's a 10-point game here. It's a timeout called by the Spurs. And out of the timeout, we wouldn't get anything going. But the Lakers would go right back to it. Tristan Thompson and one layup over Keldon Johnson. LeBron James and Tristan Thompson are back. And here's Asur Thompson just putting Bassey on an absolute poster here. The rookie out of nowhere goes right up and dunks on Charles Bassey. Right after that, Simmons tries to get two more points as he shows his aggressiveness here as he's trying to get back to that way. He'd end up going one for two, I'm pretty sure, because he missed the second one. But, I mean, man, that, that poster by Thompson, that was something else. And then here, he just gets a lob here and makes it easy. Look. Like, Thompson was a good pickup here for the Lakers. But our own pickup was pretty good, too, as Brandon Miller gets it in the corner from Ben Simmons. It keeps it a 10-point game. Scratch that 13 as D'Angelo Russell hits a fading three over the center. I think that was Zach Halls who was guarding him, so I'm going to say over the center. But it also could have been Ben Simmons. I have no idea. Uh, Sohan gets the ball now. We'll get it over to Brandon Miller, who's on Westbrook here. And Miller uses that size advantage. Gets inside the paint and gets the easy layup, who has 14 early points here. 24 seconds. Westbrook gets an easy rim run here on Devin Vassell. Again, rocks the baby. He's off to a great start to this game. And in the final 20 seconds, I leave it all unedited here. Simmons slowly brings it up. He's looking to get someone open. I mean, he has six assists, five points. I don't think he's going to be scoring unless he somehow gets an open paint. Sohan gets the screen. Simmons dribbling around, heads to the post, tries to draw a double team. He does that. And then he throws a turnover here. Russell throws it up. That's the end of the half. It is a 13-point game as the Lakers are looking to get comfortable here. Westbrook showing off his hot start. And then Anthony Davis decides that he wants to start scoring and making plays in the second half. Start off, he finds Kendrick Nunn in the paint, who's also off to a pretty good start. Zach Collins tries to counter that with a fading mid-range and hits it. I didn't know he could shoot that, but hey, he makes it. Now Davis double team down low. He don't care. He's going to find a way to put someone on a poster. Makes it easy. He has nine points early, or I say early. It's halftime. But Zach Collins comes right back at him. As he drills a top of the key three. Collins now eight points. He's getting dominated down low on the rebounds. But that's alright. He's at least scoring right. LeBron James over Sohan. He has easy work man. LeBron James saying it. he's crazy. He had seven points. He wasn't really scoring. But then Anthony Davis just decided to bitch our entire team. Um, he, yeah he made that look easy. And it wasn't. Zach Collins tries to go back at him. But I mean. The pussy layup compared to that is not going to do anything for you, Zach. Don't worry. Just take it there. LeBron James now in the post over Jonathan Isaac. He steps out of it, shoots the midi, and he hits it there. Nice and easy. It's a 20-point game for the Lakers. Yeah, that's what happened. Out of the timeout, we failed to do something, and Kendrick Nunn makes it a 23-point game. You guys basically understand how this game went. The... Lakers dominated us. We got a nice little block here on Westbrook, but then Anthony Davis just cleans up the mess and still gets two out of it. But yeah, Lakers dominated us. We'll still have some highlights here. It's like Jonathan Isaac. Putback slam. What a great dunk there off the putback. Um, but yeah, there wasn't too many more highlights in this game. Uh, Brandon Miller, uh, he just 
started take trying to take over, but it was too little too late. We're down 21. Kendrick Nunn makes it, or sorry, misses, and then Davis makes it 23. Yeah, Davis on the board, LeBron scoring, Westbrook being dominant. We get a Zach Collins corner three to have him score 15 on the night. He got a little heat stroke going on in the third quarter. But you can see at the end, Green here, he dribbles up. He misses the three. 77-59 to to end the third quarter. And yeah, I just jump ahead. We're not going to watch the fourth. 105-82, you can see we just, we got killed this game. Um, we'll end up checking out the stats. Um, our best scorer did end up being Brandon Miller, who I believe he scored 20 in this game on very inefficient shooting. He was like 8 for 20 or something like that. Which I guess is just barely under 50%, but I want you shooting a little bit better than 50% on this team. I get he's a rookie, so he has a little leeway, but still, come on. Like, you got dominated this game. Uh, 16 minutes, though, scoring 20 points isn't too bad. Vassell was our second leader with 16 points. Collins had 15, and Ben Simmons had 12. He ended up getting some more points towards the end. Um, other than that, Johnson didn't shoot well. Um, the rest of the team really didn't shoot too often, but, I mean, so hand shot 3 for 4. Isaac did pretty well. D'Angelo Russell led the way in scoring with 23. Davis had 17 and 14. Westbrook had 15. D James had 20. Nunn had 14. They just had multiple people just start going off against us, and we couldn't stop them at all. We didn't simulate ahead. You see this trade that I accept here, but, or I don't accept what I approve of. We lose two games. I didn't look at the box score for them, but then we start sim casting here against the Celtics, who are pretty heavily heavy contenders, and we blow them out of the water somehow. I don't know what we did differently in this game. Um, Brown scored 20. Sorry, 30. And Ben Simmons had 26, 9, and 5. And Brendan Miller had 26 and 11. So I guess that's what was different in this game. We had five people score double digits, two of them scoring 20 plus. We then went to Simcast the next game with New Orleans here. And again, we'd be this time we wouldn't blow them out of the water right off the bat. Um, but we played a good game here. I We might not even won this game. I don't think we did. Yeah, no, we didn't. I don't know what I'm thinking of right now. But again, uh, Keldon Johnson, 24 points. Brandon Miller... He's been top two or top three scoring pretty much all year for our team. And then we jump over to another Lakers game. I'm pretty sure it was like the third time we played them in a week and a half or two weeks. And this time we actually held the lead going into the fourth quarter and then just continued to blow them out in the fourth quarter. I don't know what happened here. Uh, this was Brandon Miller's worst game by far, but he took the least amount of shots. You can see all those other people. Um, and then I believe I just end up simming up to this... Uh, Warriors game, yeah. Uh, we declined the trade here for Jalen McDaniels, and then Sohan gets bruised right hip. So I will end up reworking the um, lineup a bit. But you can see when I reworked the lineup that Brandon Miller is no longer going to be coming off the bench. He has entered the starting lineup with this injury. It has a chance to keep that spot throughout the entire year. Um, I don't know what I do with the 27 minutes, so I mean, it, again, we recorded this a while ago, so I don't remember mostly what happens. I, yeah, so I give Brandon Miller 30, Ben Simmons 29, and then I think I give some to Boogie, but it could be Wesley or Rupert. Yeah, it's Rupert. Rupert? 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 I don't know. He ends up getting 15, Bassey gets a few minutes, and then some extra minutes to the bench, guys. Uh, but that's going to be our starting five for the next game here. I don't remember if I simcast it or if I play it, I'm going to be honest. I guess we'll find out, but Rajon Rubert, uh, he already hates the team. I don't know how he hasn't played a single minute with us. And I guess he's already done playing with us. You can see here, Brandon Miller had 24 points in the last game. The game before that, he had 22, so he's been off to a great start to his NBA career. You'll see our player stats. I think he leads the team in average. Yeah, he leads the team in points per game. On 50% shooting, I didn't look at three-point uh, percentage or anything. But yeah, uh, those six right there, they're off to pretty hot, good starts. But I need a little better if we want to contend. Don't know if we'll be contending this year. It's not my game plan. But if they're doing good, there is a chance. So guys, thank you all for watching this episode of the Spurs franchise. I'm sorry it took a bit between episodes. It's going to take a bit because MLB is new, so I'm going to try to bang out those. But I do have the games recorded as long as I get the commentary done. They'll be coming out soon. Guys, thank you all for watching. Until next time, I will talk to you all later. I'm out. Peace.